you doing tonight, Garcia? Not too bad. Oh, bottles I had. <laughs> you had to clean it all out? Well, we have a spare, so it's like, oh, we only have one spare, and this is like a 94. Yeah, it look, it's, that's like the Crown Vic, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, it's too cold, yeah. And you guys get all the chargers in yet? No, I think, I mean, we got most of them, but I think, I saw it, you know, like, every week, we get, like, a staff email. Yeah. They said, like, uh, that they ordered them, but... Yeah, yeah I, I tried to get a vehicle assignment like a while back, but that was the holdup on as they were waiting on all the new cars to come in and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I don't that. even know when they yeah. come in. Like, I've had, like, because of K9, we got some of like, the, the newest cars first because obviously the dog, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I saw like a newer Ford. One, uh, I think it was Matthews has like a newer Ford. I never seen I only seen the uh, Chevys and the, the Chargers, and then now you got this old. Like yeah. Unfortunately, Stone Age thing. I hope yeah. I won't have it for long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah just to, like Tuesdays and Thursdays, like our fleet tries to make it where it's like that's our day to get stuff fixed quicker. So yeah. it's Wednesday, but I'm not sure if they're working tomorrow because Halloween. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna have a day off or have a short day or something. So hopefully it gets fixed. But. Yeah, you guys don't take your cars home at all, though, right? No, we do. So, you know, okay, I thought it was only the county that did that. Yeah, if you live within 20 miles, or sorry, if you live within 12 miles, it's free. But if you live after anything after that, it's 20 miles, but you have to live within the county. Yeah. So, like, if you live, like, like we, we have, a, like, Matthews, I don't think he lives there anywhere near, so he, he can't take his car home. Right. But, yeah, yeah I, 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 he has a Ford. I don't, I'm not sure. I didn't, I didn't see it. I just noticed it was a Ford. I, I've never seen one of those out there before. But, yeah, I know. I think I read up on General Order something about the whole car thing, but that's a lot of reading. Yeah. I'm like, still trying to get through that thing several thousand pages <laughs> yeah <laughs> and I've, I've requested them at other agencies before and then they're like you want like what part of it i'm like no the whole thing and they're like that's a lot of you know it's like 15 cents a page they're like i don't need it email in paper <laughs> yeah send it to me digitally yeah, exactly they try to get me on that one all the time so yeah yeah what was going on over the circle k just they called trespass said, stuff you no know, they called and said that there was a guy that was there that they believed to have stole something in the past. And then I rolled up and I was like, hey, which way do you go? They're like, we don't know. I'm like, well, what's it look like? They're like, it's a black guy on a white bike. I'm like, <laughs> can you narrow it down? <laughs> yeah, they're a like, little bit? Know, like, we don't know. Like, he might have been wearing a Star Wars shirt, but I was like, and then that guy came up and he had like a, I don't know, it looked like a, I don't know, like a space shirt. So I was like, is this him? I'm like, yeah, that's not him. So I have no idea. But they, they, think, they think he stole prior, but they don't have any proof of it. So it's just kind of like a, like a suspicious person. Right. Yo, 13P. Yeah. Lots of you know all our codes and stuff? I study a little bit. You must be the... Like, the they they like to call me cop block, but I just watch you guys. <laughs> That's all. I don't know why everybody... Accountability, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you got to watch us as much as we watch everybody else, man. Well, that's, it's our civic duty to, to keep an eye on the government as, as citizens, you know yeah. what I mean? I'm not causing any trouble. I'm just watching what's going on, making sure everybody does what they're supposed to, you know? I mean, I don't understand why it can't be a civil interaction with people. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen I've, I've seen some of your videos. I've seen all of My them. thing is, is I try to get, like, dialogue like this going yeah. sometimes, and everybody 10-8 every time, 10-8. So, I think uh, people just don't want to say something wrong, and then... And that's understandable, too. At the end of the day, we don't just represent ourselves, represent the city. So, I mean, if we right. see something that's not in the city, then... But that's the thing, is a lot of people want to see uh, the human side of you guys to where it's not, like, always just a, okay, well, is it is it a fishing expedition? Or are we trying to, you know, yeah. obtain probable cause right now? They just, you know, questions. Sometimes I get stuck in, on the spot and I can, you know... Uh, I can't think of what I wanted to ask all these other times. You know, yeah. So it's kind of cool that you stopped to talk to me, so. Yeah, I was just trying to, I was trying to sit out my stupid cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're hauling a lot of water bottles. Yeah. Well, I, I like to spoil my dog, so usually if I buy a, a bottle of water, I'll buy him a What's bottle your dog's water. name? Uh, Logan. Logan. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I have the second newest dog. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah you're squad two, right? Yeah, that's what's wrong right now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
You never, you, ne you never film squad too. We're always out doing stuff. No, I like the last time it was literally right there. I got four, and I knew it was four, and I said two anyway, and I felt like an idiot, but. But yeah, you always mess with Orphe, not mess with it, but you always yeah. see Orphe and stuff like that. No, Orphe just happened to be there one day when we got out there, and then the whole, did you get to see the trunk situation where? Uh -huh. Well, I, uh, me and my buddy got out and went to go uh, see what was going on because they were just sitting like where the old Albertsons was and they had the spotlight on. Mm -hmm. So that's what made them stand out to us and we went and tried to talk to them and then of course they took off. I think that, is he is he training, uh, the Zim Zimmerman I haven't met yet but it was a yeah. guy that I hadn't seen. I think that might have been who was with him that night. Yeah, he's new. He's, I think he's still in phase one or two. He's, he just got hired with yeah. us. Yeah. But, uh... Well, they went to take off, and I guess maybe he hit the wrong button, and the trunk popped open, and they were oh, about, yeah, yeah. I did see that video. about to drive I, I, I off. I did see that video, yeah, I did see that video. I thought about it afterwards. I was like, well, I could, they probably had shit in the trunk that they don't want anybody to get to, so that's understandable yeah, as to why. Usually, I usually, depending on the car type, the, the rifle mount is somewhere either in the front or in the back, like mine and my other cars in the front, and this one's in the back, so. Yeah, so that's understandable. That's, that's I was just trying to be, you know, nice so they didn't have to get out of the car. I'm, I'm not trying, I'm not about, you know, seeing anybody getting hurt or trying to throw shade like that. It's just, I just want, you know, I poke fun sometimes. No, I think you're being funny. Yeah. I don't, I don't, don't bother me. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, and this is what I'm trying to get more of is just, you know, being able to interact like human beings and not having to be so business oriented all the time. But. Yeah, you, you feel me one time. Um, during the when you were running track, the canine track yeah i thought that was you yeah. you and uh was it watts i think it was watts yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah when i was riding walmart that one night yeah yeah so uh, funny cause i was like i wasn't mean i was just like get him identified yeah <laughs> because so like that that call it was it, it was an unknown three unknown males uh had hopped the wall at coming out of uh Briarcrest. Yeah, I, I think that's where y'all were coming from. Yeah, and so Briarcrest. I was really tracking for, from the thing, and then you were sitting right there, and like I can't see what you're doing, so I thought you were like just like no, I just stopped. Like, fr like frozen the boat, like oh shit, what do I do? I just stopped to watch y'all, <laughs> and um, and then uh, like I heard you say, yeah, can we get them identified real quick? I thought he was coming to do the whole the whole thing, but no, he was just making sure I wasn't who y'all were looking yeah, for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, that was it. Yeah, because like I said, like they had just fled. The, the kid had chased a couple of them, but he, he said he couldn't tell if they were white, black, Spanish. He had no idea. Yeah. And, um, he was kind of kind of an older guy. I said kid. I said I probably killed him. Too. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah. So they hopped the wall and then they went down. We, we ended up catching one of them like later on that night. But and then we went to like that boat. That boat because the guy's cover was up and then he's like he came out and was like hey my cover was never up. Yeah, I remember the guy coming out of the garage, like, yeah. what the fuck is going on out here? Yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I'm sure, I mean, because, I mean... Yeah, you, yeah, yeah it's kind of like a, a surprise to uh, run out of your garage, too. But, yeah, man, the first, I think the first one, like, first actual thing I ever really filmed as far as, like, watching you guys was the, the Popeye's Rick's Barbecue oh, yeah, uh, that thing was, that happened. That was such an awful night. Yeah. And you know, about that night that made me mad, so when I tracked with the dogs, I literally found his bicycle, mm -hmm. and I told them I found his bicycle, and no one, no one like notated it, and then the next day I came back, and the bicycle was still there, and that's where he ended up, he ended up being. Yeah, that's crazy. Man. So it's just like, the small little detail somebody missed, like my boss just did. But that's what started a lot of it for me, is just trying to learn the whole, uh, how it all works, you know? I, I didn't know anything about like uh, being able to get reports and stuff like yeah. that, but see, my thing is I could just sit and listen to the news, mm -hmm. but I like to test it, make sure that they're not like, you know, yeah. and the sheriff it always has his ways of spending these stories and stuff too, so I like to look into all that stuff. You have that kind of worked out, the whole fiasco with douchebag? Oh, you talking about my arrest? Yeah. Uh, it's going to, it's on a continuance right now. I but say, it, it'd probably get dropped. I, I mean, I would have thought that that would kind of be been where it was at now. It was, a, it was crazy, man. Like, uh, I actually just watched a video from a guy out in California, same situation. Mm -hmm. Like, the officer walked probably like 50 feet to him and said the same thing about him running the stop sign. Mm -hmm. And he, uh, sat there and backed and forth with him for like 20 minutes and then they, they, told him he was free to go. I got I had two minutes from contact to the handcuffs. Yeah. So it's always rough because like that's why like I 
traffic laws with like pedestrians, it's so it's so hard to prove it. And at the end of the day, usually the judge are going to side with the law enforcement every single time. So like, I've done the other end too. I mean, trust me, my first vehicle was a 2006 Honda CBR. Mm -hmm. So I was an idiot. I got speeding tickets all the time. Yeah. And uh, when I first got got my car, like I, I had this one scenario where I guess I got put over by FHP. And I had a Grand Dam, you know, like uh, the old Grand Dam. I had like the automatic seatbelt. Yeah. Well, my window didn't work. So when he came up to the door, I had I told him like, "Hey, sorry, my window doesn't work." And he opened my window, the seatbelt came off. And he was like, "Oh, and you weren't wearing your seatbelt? <laughs> they gave you a ticket for a seatbelt." And I fought it, and the, I lost because it's his word against mine. You know, what I mean, it's just one of those things that sucks. You know, it's just it's hard to argue it. And and you had video, but I don't think your video was on. Before. I didn't. Yeah, you know that day. I was going to the library to, to look at like records that I had gotten and stuff like that and I was going to the store first. But when I got to the intersection I seen, I can't remember 100% if it was after I went through the intersection or while I was at the intersection when I actually saw their lights kick on. Mm -hmm. But once I got through there, uh, I just pulled over to the easement to film them and they, they walked up to me and kind of threw, like, threw the violation in my face. Like I, I stopped at the stop sign, so it is what it is. I, I've never met, met that guy before. I guess I'm learning the whole process, like literally <laughs> the whole process. Yeah, I've never met. What, what was this? And they, it was uh, the, Navarro. The, 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 yeah, Navarro. I've never met him. the other guy that was with him. I, I've seen him before. Yeah, and like, I, I've learned that uh, I guess Rogers was a detention deputy before he was on. Like went out to the road and then got made um, that's the, detective. That's the black guy. That's the, the black movie. guy. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I, I don't know his name, and like they, 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 we used to call him Blade because <laughs> <laughs> he's like so big. Because he looks like that. <laughs> it's funny. He's got all the tattoos. So I, 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 I just call him Blade. He's actually in my phone, safe as Blade, because I don't know. His that's real funny. Name. <laughs> Little Rogers. I don't really know that. That's funny. That's funny stuff. But uh, yeah, I, I didn't. I always knew that if 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 I got arrested doing what I was doing just because of the way that it was going most of the time, because most of it's like trespassing stuff, yeah. and that's what's that's what's that's the one that's really bugging me right now, is because Barrios came and served a trespass warning to me at the the Winter Haven Transit Terminal for literally walking around with a GoPro on my chest, yeah, because they called, but I have the the call and all that stuff too. I still got to figure out how I could. The lawyer for Citrus Connections, I've been corresponding with him and back and forth trying to get like records for it. First off, I wanted Citrus Connections documentation of it, which is just like a little short report basically saying that I was filming without permission and then the CAD screen yeah. attached. So, but I don't know how, like... It's public, so it's... Yeah, yeah. it's got to usually got to be a crime being committed for that to happen, so... And the only thing that I'd ever, because like, I always watch watch your guys' videos and like other, I, I like watching all the videos just, just to see like, yeah, it's done how, a lot how, of how good. we can make the interaction better, you know? And like, the only thing I can think of that that sometimes you guys gotta be careful about is that if you, have you actually read the trespassing statute? Yeah. So you know how it says like, how like an agent of the business? Yeah. Sometimes if they tell you to go and you guys are reporting it, I was wondering if they could, they could use that against you if the agent tells you. Well, you know what I'm like I always wondered that because I like, always went well. It's like well, if, if and then it's like with like the the security guards at like gates up like that. Obviously, you guys aren't on the property, so at that point, and that's what you off. that's so what was funny to me yeah. because uh, when Barrios finally made it on scene, I was on the public sidewalk already. We weren't even on the property, so that whole time that he was out there talking with us and stuff, I wasn't even on their property. Yeah, exactly. So I got served a trespass warning, and I, still, on the I was already off the property. Exactly, and with, you know, it states that we have to physically, visually see you on the property to trespass you. So I, that's why I always kind of wondering, like. And then he, and we uh, asked for McNally to, to be out there, but he just said that he called them. I don't know if he ever really called them or not, but that's, yeah. that was his. And then he gave us the ultimatum of arrest or ID, and that's kind of where it went. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm still trying to figure that whole thing out because they. You know, back and forth with the Citrus Connection lawyer, try to give us like some kind of 30 days to go meet in his office, but you can't record and you can pay for a, a court reporter to come in mm -hmm. here and do all that shit while we're in here. It's like, it's, that's bogus. Yeah, it's it's pretty, is so weird because, and then like, there's so many like weird like nuances with it. Like, so, 
press passing, okay, we see you there, Wilmer's you there, press passing.